Did we win it? Oh, yeah. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World, the game where today we're in silence because I normally play this game with everything turned off, but we've done it. We actually have managed to unlock the Diplo Sarasipispis, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so this is one of the creatures. It's really new and yeah, it's never been released and apparently you need it for like a, a, a really rare hybrid that may be even out right now. But before we do that, wait a second, I need to go into here, I need to go into settings, gameplay. And we have a volume. Hopefully I've <laughs> very cleverly left space for it. There's a link in the description down below for you to get books from this game. I can't remember. Maybe that's just a good life. I used to get ones for this one, but what you can find is a link for T-Rex. That's right. We still have a few left. So if you are wanting one before they completely go extinct, you get it? It's a good joke. You can find a link in the description down below. But before we well, before you buy all of those, let's go in and hatch the new creature. Let's have a look, actually, first. See if there's anything new. Unlock your... Wait, what? Unlock your Diplocerespis? Oh, wait, what? So did we have to do something in particular to do that? Or... Oh, maybe there was like a glitch where you didn't actually unlock it. And then that's how you do it? I don't know, but there it is. Look at you. It's just a jacuzzi. So, I will just open up our free pack, because I think we've still got to do a lot of the, um, uh, what's it called? The, the daily missions for today. However, I have done quite a few of the regular missions. So right now, you can get a level 30 Ceratosaurus bonus plus 300% for 100 pound. <laughs> No, <laughs> don't think I'm going to be doing that anytime soon. I, lo I love the Jurassic World movie pack. That thing has not changed at all. Although they've added beta to it now and the Giga. Interesting. Okay, odds are, is there any decent prizes that we can get? Because I know, yeah, some of these books, because we have 21,000, we have 22,000 basically uh, books. Is it worth any of these? Like less than 1%. Less than 1%. Oh my god, they just put everything in here? Oh, okay, so you're guaranteed a good one. But at the same time, you're only going to get a thousand DNA. Does it really seem worth it? Let's have a look at the news, because there might be something that's cropped up here. If there's a new hybrid? No. Okay, no new hybrid. Love that, Renner. That one looks lovely. Um, okay, so hopefully we go into here. We go into amphibians. And we should have it... <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh, it's not very good. I mean, it's a legendary creature. We, we've come to expect that these things are never really the best, but you do need them. Uh, so, wait, what? T hold the... Hold, hold the phone. Hold the... How long do I have to wait till I get my... Oh, I get it in 19 hours. Oh, that's gonna cost me! <laughs> I didn't plan this one out. First, we'll do this. Hopefully, we get a pack. Uh, okay, we didn't get a pack, but we did get, like, the, the second best thing. Some DNA there. And two Archelons! Okay, that... You know what? Colored me impressed. Although it doesn't really reimburse me for the books I'm about to lose. Uh, <laughs> this is a bit of a shame. But you know what? That's what we do on this channel. Maybe we get level 40... Actually, we could just have a look to see if the hybrid's actually in the game. There it is. Look at Boomerang Head Diplo. Is it any good? I mean, well, I mean, we had a look at it. No, but look at it. Oh, it looks so pretty. <laughs> what do we get? Creatures Diplocerepsis lived in North America during the Permian period, which was the last period of the Paleozoic era. I'm a paleontologist. I know exactly what that is. Let me Google. <laughs> What does it look like level 40? I mean, we're going to see a level 40. Oh, okay. Okay, I like it. I, like, I, I could see it going for like a bluey, cyan tip sort of thing. That would look quite nice. We'll see what we got here. We've got to claim these two because uh, we did something. Is this complete? No. No, it is not complete. Um, and then this. Right, yes, I've still got to do the dailies on this one. I kind of want to do all of these first because I've saved so much and it's going to go brrr all the way through. As you see, we've got 3,100 so far. Um, I think you have to... I think there's one mission that is definitely watch an advert. We'll quickly go into here, do two of these, and then we've got to get seven more Diplocerapsis. Now, I'm not 
too bothered about the DNA. Because as you can see, we're at 343,000. Pete's saving it. And luckily, I have 21,000 bucks, which does mean that we're going to be able to get it maxed up. Even though, even though, even though, it's probably going to uh, cost us thousand. I think it's like 3,000 per. So three, six, nine, twelve. Oh, that's already four, five, six, seven, eight, three, six, nine. Oh, that's like, is that, no, that's like 21,000. Oh, oh, maybe we, maybe we don't get it maxed up right there. <laughs> because if we get a, like, instant fuses back because we can get it in like a day um that gives us another th is it four or three it's four and then that means that we got five done and six seven so we really only spend like ten thousand as opposed to twenty one thousand i mean we'll see if we get any good or decent trades in the trade hopper. that's awful we can definitely ignore that one but you never know you might get lucky yeah not gonna trade that one we can sell decoration we've got 26 of those well, it's up to you whether you sell them for DNA or you sell them for VIP points. I mean, if you are selling them for books, I don't know if you get as good prices as you would just getting a random trade in the normal trade harbor for that. I feel like the random trade in the trade harbor is better than what you would get in uh, the custom one. So, uh, nothing good there. We'll do a quick refresh. Eh, sort of reimburses us for this one. Do we get anything good? Carnaraptor for two thousand. No, that that is that is definitely not worth it. What we can do though, and what's great about the VIP points is they are a bit versatile. So we've already got ninety nine million food. We can definitely that. So three thousand. Is that maybe one? It might be maybe one. And then eventually at the end, it's not very good. So with VIP points, we can just go into a pack like the solid gold, and hopefully get five hundred. Um. <laughs> I've been saving all my points for this. Oh, Lord. Uh, we also do have that. That'd be interesting to do. So, without further ado, quickly jump to Nubla. I was already there. I'll see if we have a hi if the hybrid's here. I feel like if the hybrid was here, though, it would be in the new segment. So, if we look at hybrids. Uh, n oh, no. Hold on. We can do Okay. Well, we kind of have to then, don't we? Uh, I feel like I've faced up against this before. So this is actually a reef creature. And it still becomes an amphibian. Oh, it'd be so cool if this was something that, you know, they had like two animations for it. And you could do it in the aquatics and it would just do like a, a shimmy sham. Even if you just gave it a regular reef animation, that would look so good. I know, guys. I'm putting it up. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. But we'll do it. Uh, so 3,000, 4,000, 7,000, 7,300... There's that freaking Dino Dinosuchus. Um, oh, oh, it's not the best technically. So Caprasuchus. Okay, Caprasuchus has way more attack. So 7,500. Okay, for some reason, I thought it was 3,000 each time. But I almost clicked sell there. <laughs> almost did it. But no, it's only 1,600. So actually, I unintentionally doubled uh, the cost of speeding up. So we will get it. That is four of them done. So really it's about 2,000 each. So two, four, six, eight, ten, two, four, two. So yeah, it's about 14,000 bucks this is going to cost us. So, and we could have saved a lot more. Unfortunately, <laughs> very unfortunate. But, you know, I'm not waiting a week. I ain't waiting a week for this thing. And two more, 7,000. I mean, we have so many, so many bucks, you know, May as well use them. Make them work for us. There's no point saving it. Save it. There's nothing saved. Might as well use it. Spend it. Have fun with it. Does however mean that we're probably not going to be able to get this hybrid. Um, although I cannot wait to see what that thing looks like. It's very, I mean, well, we've seen what it's sort of going to look like. It's kind of very similar. Yes, look at it. Gorgeous. It's just like... Um, oh, what was it? The other, the other creature... It's not the Ichthyostega. It's not Kula Sutures. It's that other one. Damn, I can't remember what it's called. But we'll quickly feed all of these guys. Thank God they've changed it so it wasn't like five pops for a single level. Now it's one pop for a single level, which has definitely helped speed up the process. There we go. And now we... S Luckily, we have the instant fuses because that's where we can get a bit dicey. Because those things are kind of random as to whether you're going to get it or on the first try or the 10th try. And each one could be a hundred bucks. 
So, yeah, you could get almost spending the same amount of DNA on that as you could a normal one. So at level 11, there you go, you got a little bit of stripes on the head. Love the archness of this, how, how much they've been about. Now, we don't rely on this game for scientific accuracy, let's, let's be fair. Oh, we've got another code 90, but it looks, it's the rule of cool, okay? <laughs> rule of cool, I was gonna say Kool-Aid, but it's not Kool-Aid. Instant fuse for this. Should really be saving these for the, like, the later ones. Um, are you any good? No, no, I'll do it my own spare time. 150 boss DNA. We need that really if we're going to be grinding for any amber DNA, which we're not really going to do, if I'm honest. Uh, did this take us back to... No, we're still on easel sauna. Uh, but wait, no, we're not on easel sauna. There we go. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. And then we'll feed these guys. We're level 20. 1,738 health and 262. Attack. I love that sound effect, that grrr. It's so royalty free, I think I've even got it. I think it's like, bite large. I'll put it in if I remember. Probably won't remember, but you know, I'll try my best. So we'll get all these up to level 20. Right, so we have three instant fuses. So we may as well do regular ones. So it's 80 bucks. Uh, you see, that's the problem. That's the problem. Another 80, oh, there we go, 160 bucks. And it's it's only like 80 DNA, so the, the DNA is not the problem. But so that's one, two, so that's 340, 340 bucks so far. Eh, hey, 400 bucks, sweet. <laughs> now we need to do it at least, wait, hold up. Okay, so we've got three more fuses. Oh. We need it. Okay, okay. We'll 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 do it for this one. Hopefully we get it. No, we don't. But that's fine. It's, it's fine. It's, it's fine. <laughs> there we go. See, so you get lucky sometimes. And that takes us to two level thirty. So now it's got it's got icy tips. I think as we call it on in the ends. So at level thirty, it has two thousand six hundred fifty health and three hundred and ninety-nine attack. Ready for that roll to free sound effect? There it is. Gorgeous. And then we'll do this one. Don't really need to worry about food. Insta fuse, may as well. That's when it'll be really expensive. We're only going to do one of those. Right. And, oh, that apparently used all of them. And finally, at uh, level 40, 3,749 health and 564. Oh, I love the vibrant uh, color change from like the pinks to the greens on the tail there. Um, you know what? It's ki kind of looks like something from How to Train a Dragon. In a way, I could imagine this being a dragon. So we, oh, of course, before we fuse it, let's not waste time and get all of our free bucks because we're gonna need them. So what was it? The dip was it Diploceraspus? Diploceraspus, very closely resembles the Diplocalis. That's the one, though they differ in size. With Diploceraspus measuring smaller. <laughs> ah, thank you there for your astute scientific observation, there, Lydia. <laughs> they don't want to say anything just in case later they have to change something. Fair enough, I can completely understand it after the whole Utah Raptor incident. Diploceraspus is a genus of Lepsiondil, Le Leps Lepospondyl, amphibian, a type of early tetrapod. As Lepsiondil, uh, the Diploceraspus likely had spool-shaped vertebrae that grew as bony cylinders around the note chord. Wow, there's a lot of scientific words there. <laughs> and Diploceraspus was originally recognized as two species. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Was it D. Burke and D. Conmachinius? You see, this is why we should not really bother about defending scientific discoveries too much, because they change fairly frequently. However, this was proven inaccurate due to the size range overlap. Okay, so we've claimed our rewards. We've got... Oh, okay. Well, we're not going to worry about that. Jesus. It's only a 50. Come on, Owen. Don't bother with me with that. And here we go. The fuse... So this is a four hour fusion, and I'm kind of, like four hours didn't seem that much. And we still have two instant fuses. And I kind of want to get it to level 20, because whenever we fuse, oh look at it, it's so cute. So sleepy. Okay, we'll do the animations, because let's be honest, we're never getting this thing again, because once we get the hybrid, we'll just be buying the hybrid outright. And because it is two tournament creatures, there you are. Ah, yes! 
<laughs> I love the eyes. Well, let's get a let's look at those eyes. Hmm. It's kind of cute in a weird way. Uh, although, actually, if you look at the teeth, you see the gums in it. Mm, okay, I take that back. Never mind. Uh, the face only a mother could love. <laughs> yes, so we're not going to get that back. We'll go for the activate. A a activate. I'm kind of tempted because we can't get any instant hatches and we need to get another seven of them. So as long as we, we can, we'll, do, we'll do an instant fuse. So actually, well, that was probably best because that cost a thousand DNA and there it is. Whoa, the Ophatsaraspis. <laughs> that is, yeah, Ophatsaraspis. That is a word. Oh, look at it. Oh, it looks so cute. In a way, yeah, look at that. <laughs> look at those eyeballs. What has science done? Not enough is the answer. I want to see this in the next Jurassic World. <laughs> Could you imagine? I love the fins on it. Wow. Yeah, very shark-like. Dude, you know what? Its face is a bit stupid. I think maybe they could have done something different there, but I kind of love it all at once. But I, I love the, the tail, the side fins, which is interesting because I don't think the, the thing it was fused from, the Ophthalmosaur, uh, had side fins. So they, they've just had fun with this thing. But damn... Those eyes. They're so pretty. It's got a bit it's got like the the white shot. Okay, now 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 it's just ha. <laughs> Let's have a look. What do we get? Uh the Othet Serapis has a similar head shape to the Diplocerapus, with a unique skull shaped like a boomerang. So what does it look like Evo 4? Oh, okay. It just I mean there's a few more, but it, it pretty much stays the same. So we'll get this guy up to level 10. 3,348 health and 697 attack. Now, because the other one was an aquatic, I'm not really too much of a loss because I very rarely end up doing aquatic battles. This thing, I think I might use. So we'll go into its the market. Um, <gasps> oh, this thing's the most expensive hybrid. Yeah, there was no way we were getting this at level 40. Okay, I'm, I'm glad I didn't... I didn't go too crazy and save my thingy thinking, oh yeah, we could definitely get at least level 30. No, we could buy two. One, two. Yeah, we're going to buy two, I think. Damn. Okay, so as far as stats go, 12,000 health. Uh, as far as... Our oh, wait, what? Okay, Armo Matter has like a thousand less a health, but then... Has 1,100 extra attack. Right, let's compare it to the, the others. Um, wow, Chromo Spinos has 900 extra attack and 1,000 less health and is 5,000 DNA cheaper. Ah, oh, that's a shame. It had so much potential. It could have been so good. And yeah, everything I'm looking at, except for maybe Cry Cry Love from Burgia. It's better then. Cry Love from Burgia doesn't need to be here. In fact, those two, the amphibian and the flyer, should be below the other two. Interesting. Okay, well we are gonna we are gonna buy it. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Forgot I found the one thousand! But you know, like we said, whenever you get a hybrid, you do need to get it to level 20 in order, you know, to make it worthwhile. Because if you keep it level 10, you basically just lost two creatures with around about the same sorts of stats. But you get level 20, that's when you'll see the the, um, the difference. So we'll evolve that. We have our final instant fuse for only 280. <laughs> Lovely. At level 11, 4,339 health and 904 attack. And at level 20, 5,734 health and 1,195 attack. And actually it looks no different. Hmm. Oh, yeah. It, it didn't have any fins on it. I thought it did. If you look at the level 40. So, a little bit more food there. Like the Ophthalmosaurus. Oh, we're going for the other one now. Uh, the Ophthalmosaurus does not lay eggs. Instead, she births her young via live birth, similar to a mammal, which it is neither. It is an amphibian and... Oh, 
know. Are they mammals? Are they, I think they're reptiles, actually, Alphalmosaurs. So, no. Similar to a mammal. Don't know how it did that. It just sort of evolved it. There you go. Uh, do we get anything here? Okay, so now we'll go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, look at it go. Look at little baby beta go. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I've been a good boy. And Ludi will be at the end and be like, okay, here you go. Here's the pass for everything else. Now, I know you guys want me to do it. Claim all. We'll do it. You're like, Beavers, why don't you just click claim all? You're right, actually. I was stupid. <laughs> I could have saved a lot more time. Because basically, you just get all of the rewards instantly. So we got a pack. Some food. More DNA. We're definitely going to need that. We have just lost 130,000 food. And... 13,000 bucks? Like 14,000 bucks? That is a ludicrous amount. Wow. Oh, through the floodplains. Didn't get anything. Also, I actually saw that in the Valentine's Day event when everyone got a free pack, I got absolutely terrible rewards. A lot of people ended up getting like a mono stegotops. Like, level fives were getting monostegatops, and here's me with my... I think I got, like, the worst thing ever. It's just, like, a common... Uh, you know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. I'll happily take that, because we did get the free upgrade uh, from Ludia. Um, it'll be interesting to see if they change anything when it comes to uh, the way you unlock dinosaurs. I feel like they won't, even though in my last video I did not mention about that whole shebang being a complete not good thing, but we'll see. Sometimes they change. And of course, we have used our best creatures um, because we have just finished the tournament. But where does this thing at level 20 stack up? There it is. So already, it's better than a Coolosaurus. Not by much. It has maybe 1,900 extra health, but there it has 200 less attack. Okay, so yes, it is way better. I'd say it's better than a Patasaurus. It's not better than Mastodonosaurus, but it's better than a Patasaurus. It's always based on health, it feels. So we could do you, but then again... Actually, no, you're... I'm looking at that 5,000 attack, man. That is... Ooh, and 13,000 health. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, what we will do is we will showcase it in the PvP. Uh, actually, we should do mods. Boosted. Yeah, let's go with the boosted. So we'll put it in first... Yeah, it's, it's amazing just how good, like, the VIPs are. The Presto Sutures, Pterodactyl. I think I have loads of those to make, so I do want to use those. To put those guys in first, I very rarely put anything of these in. Um, but really, I think still the best one is Nullify, and then we could get a 100. Probably 10% is better at this rate. Because it has 1,100. So we get 110x. 119x to attack. Uh, endurance gives us 15% health. Which is like over 500. So yeah. We should probably go for attack. I think attack is the one thing it's lacking. So we'll do that. And then hopefully we don't come up against any Cenozoics. And we get to see it in the lovely helipad. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, it was a bit like, what, wait, what's that middle one? No, we're good. We're good. Okay, so we're going to nullify that. It is going to reduce my attack, maybe. So we gain 109. And I think we gain even more because it factors in the next one. No, it doesn't. Never mind. Okay. So it's going to gain an endurance of 400. How does imitation work? That's not fair. It's not even active. Bleh. Okay, we'll go for our one reserve. I want to see it's eight attack. Gotta go for the eight attack. So what do you guys think? Was it worth making it into this thing? Even though it's not the best? I definitely will use it. I, I don't know if I would have used this Diplosaraspus. I don't think I would have. I'm gonna go for one block here, two reserves. Really, it's a shame that they've also put the Triceratops because that's really made their other two dinosaurs very good. Um, okay, okay, I'll take that, I'll take that. I think its ability would have been that it halves the initial damage, I think, and after the first hit. So... Oh, damn. Actually, the Gigantocephalus is way better than the Ankylodocus. So... We need to worry about that. I just realized, why does Ankylodocus look like a clown? It's like a really creepy clown. 
Oh, okay. Okay. I think that was all of its hits, though. I think. that Because that was a lot. So one, two, three kills. It. One, two, three. I need to factor in that three. Please don't... Okay, it's good. We've survived. Right. It's not so bad because I've got Triceratopsis to fodder. It's okay. You can go for your four. And I, I don't want you to. <laughs> okay, right, right. Um. Oh, no. No, no, no. We were at 40% battery. What happened? Um. Right, so we can go for one hit, kill it. We can go for four and then one reserve. And nothing's going to change, I hope. I'm pretty sure I paid attention there. That was good. Yeah, so we nullify that so now it no longer gets the health benefit. Although it does. Don't know why. That's interesting. Please go for go for like four. That'd be brilliant. Three works too. Because Triceratops has like five attack. <laughs> and we got 1,000. So uh, one, two, three kills it. Factor in that one. And then just go for reserve. Go for it. It does not matter what Triceratops does. Next turn, we'll get our eight, and then we'll just absolutely decimate this thing. Nullify it. So now, do I get my attack back? Uh, no. Wow, they've really nullified. <laughs> Nullification. Oh, wow, 55 damage. Ho, oh, oh. ho. I best be scared. Okay, here we go. Four. Go for six. Go on. Go for six. You might do 100 damage. Maybe. Some say. <laughs> oh, it does it. This is going to do 100. Oh, okay, that deserves a... Well done. Well done. But it also deserves a... But if you close your eyes, to the Triceratops. And let's go. How much damage can we do? 26 thousand with the aid coming through yeah. <laughs> like how it's looking in different directions it's it's a thing of beauty <laughs> yes so elite boosted prizes this should be the best right that we could get so 10 bucks for a capra sutures is it worth it arguably capra sutures is one of the better super rares um and then, of course, we've got the other things that we could do. I don't think we've got anything else coming up too much. But I'm just I'm just glad that we managed to, like, unlock the, another hybrid. Because they... This was a week-long trek. It was... Like, it wasn't too... It was grindy at the end, because I, I think I did it at the start. And then at the last day, so it was very grindy. And I've been really busy, so... Pats on the back for actually doing it. And if anybody else has managed to unlock it as well, congratulations. You de you deserve. No, no, no. That's that's not what I wanted. <laughs> there you go. A round of applause. You managed to do it yourself. That would be a game people would do without some technical difficulties. But if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye bye.